Thornhill is a historic plantation near Forkland, Alabama. The Greek Revival main house was built in 1833 by James Innes Thornton. The house was placed on the National Register of Historic Places on May 10, 1984. History James Innes Thornton was born October 28, 1800, at the Thornton family plantation known as Fall Hill, in Fredericksburg, Virginia. He was educated at Washington and Lee University and then emigrated to Huntsville, Alabama. He began to practice law there in 1820. He was elected as Alabama's third Secretary of State in 1824 and remained in that position until 1834. After this he retired from public life and became a planter in Greene County. Thornton married Mary Amelia Glover in 1825, daughter of Allen and Sarah Norwood Glover of Demopolis. They had two children. Her brother, Williamson Allen Glover, developed the neighboring plantation known as Rosemount. Mary died after only a few years. In 1831, Thornton remarried to Anne Amelia Smith of Dumfries, Virginia. Anne died in 1864. He then remarried in 1870 for a third and final time to Mrs. Sarah Williams Gould Gowdy, daughter of William Proctor and Eliza Chotard Gould of the Hill of Hoth in Bology. Thornton died at Thornhill on September 13, 1877. Regarding the Thornton connection to George Washington, Mildred Washington Gregory, George Washington's paternal aunt and godmother, had three daughters who married three Thornton brothers. Mildred Gregory's daughter Frances Cirque, 1720 to 1790, first cousin of George Washington, married Call. Frances Thornton III Cirque, 1711 to 1748 of Fall Hill. They were the great grandparents of James Innes Thornton. Thornhill Plantation was developed as a cotton plantation in the early 1830s and extended over 2,600 acres, 11 square kilometers. It utilized the labor of 156 slaves by 1860. About a third of the slaves lived in quarters behind the plantation house. According to the diary of Josiah Gorgas, in talking with Thornton at Thornhill on Tuesday, June 6, 1865, less than two months after the end of the Civil War, Thornton oppose ed. The doctrine of secession and necessary deduction that we fought so valiantly in the war and bled so freely in a cause radically wrong. Gorgas pointed out however, he has, I learn however, done his share to sustain the war, and perhaps that consciousness makes him talk the more freely of his former views. Architecture William Nichols is believed to be the architect of the main house at Thornhill. Nichols became the state architect of Alabama in 1827. He is known for designing the now-destroyed Alabama State Capitol Building at Tuscaloosa and the former Mississippi State Capitol Building in Jackson, Mississippi. The house at Thornhill was completed by 1833. The monumental two-story portico with six ionic columns was added circa 1850. David Reinhardt Anthony, of Utah, is believed to be the builder who made the portico addition and second-story balcony crisscrossed lattice railing. The house measures 55 feet 17 meters wide. Inside is a 14 feet 4 .3 meters wide by 40 feet 12 meters long central hall with a spiral staircase at the back. There are two rooms to either side. The left front room was the parlor, with the dining room behind it. On the front right was the master bedroom with the plantation office behind it. Upstairs is a matching hall and four bedrooms. All eight rooms are 19.5 feet 5.9 meters square. The downstairs rooms have 12 foot 3.7 meters ceilings. The upstairs ceilings are 11 feet 3.4 meters. Originally there was a brick kitchen behind the house, it later burned. Additions were made to the original structure from circa 1890 to 1949. They were raised in 1994 and rebuilt to better match the original intent of the house. The house and grounds were extensively recorded by the Historic American Buildings Survey in 1934. The Plantation Schoolhouse was constructed circa 1845. The Thornton children, as well as neighboring plantation children, were taught there. Surrounding the schoolhouse are 230-year-old post oaks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family Cemetery. 
Buried in the family cemetery, located a few hundred feet east of the main house, are James Innes Thornton, October 28, 1800 to September 13, 1877. Anne Amelia Smith Thornton, February 14, 1812 to August 2, 1864, his second wife. She had two sisters who married Virginians and came to live in Greene County. Mary Virginia Smith married Dr. Philip Lewis Lightfoot and lived at Morven, named for the Lightfoot family home in Virginia. The younger sister, Sally Innes Smith, married Colonel George Willis and spent the spring and fall at their Greene County home, Ben Lomond, on their semi annual journeys between their home in Virginia and their winter home in Florida. The homes of these three sisters, Thornhill, Morven, and Ben Lomond, were quite near each other. Morven was on the same ridge as Thornhill, north one mile, and Ben Lomond was on the ridge across the road from Thornhill, northwest one half mile. James Innes Thornton Jr., November 31, 1835 to December 12, 1837, his son. Fitzgerald Thornton, October 6, 1837 to July 6, 1939, his son. Catherine Kate Marshall Thornton, September 30, 1842 to October 27, 1870, his daughter. She was reinterred from Nevada in 1906. She married her first cousin Harry Innes Thornton, whose father, the senior Harry Innes Thornton, was justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. Harry Innes Thornton, May 18, 1848 to May 30, 1900, his son. Sally A. Blocker Thornton, 1849 to 1924, his daughter-in-law. Betty Cooper Thornton, September 19, 1876 to July 16, 1878, his granddaughter. Harry Innes Thornton, January 18, 1883, 1938, his grandson. George Francis Thornton, December 10, 1885 to July 14, 1889, his grandson. Grandson James Innes Thornton, March 10, 1873 to July 23, 1951, was reinterred in Utah's Mesopotamia Cemetery next to his second wife, Helen Williamson Allison Thornton, February 15, 1890 to December 12, 1963. His first wife, Betty Wolf Thornton, April 23, 1887 to September 22, 1932 was reinterred in the Dayton Cemetery. Thornton's first wife, Mary Amelia Glover Thornton, is buried in the Glover Mausoleum at Riverside Cemetery, Demopolis. His third wife, Sarah Williams Gould Gowdy Thornton, June 11, 1824 to August 23, 1885, is buried in the Bethsalem Cemetery, Bology. Topic: See also Media related to Thornhill Plantation at Wikimedia Commons